Jasper says, we encountered a strange issue whereby a SharePoint site was deleted by an user uh, by an user called AAD to SharePoint Sync. We discovered this through the audit log in the Compliance Center. Anyone else ever had this issue and knows what the user is? Yeah, I would love to take this. Um, this one's interesting because there was a, an, an anomaly that occurred probably a few years ago now. It is a user or system account that's related to group expiration. And when the group expires, then this account goes ahead and does that cleanup. Um, there's been some ano anomalies that were really related to uh, when a SharePoint site didn't have a group associated or a, the sync process of the team was deleted, but the site was not cleaned up. And so um, I haven't seen it for a long time, so I think it's really interesting. I would go ahead and, and take a look at your expiration po um, policies, uh, review them. Um, and, and hopefully that helps, um, but that is the uh, Azure AD, so AAD to SharePoint Sync is the name of the service account that does all that cleanup. Sounds like it it really affects kind of like orphaned objects, right? Um, yeah. So yeah. Something isn't cleaned up right um, or something's left behind and it, mm -hmm. it's got no parent um, and it doesn't right. know, doesn't know what to attach itself to. This mm -hmm. took care of it, yeah. Well, and think about, you know, if you set your expiration, you're getting reminders 30 days, 15 days, and one day. And so maybe right on that 15th day, you uh, renew or you do some sort of activity that wasn't in the same sync process of when the communication was going to come out or the expir expiration was going to occur. Um, it was just a miss. And that's really all it is. And I think uh, what I would just recommend here is to be reviewing to make sure that your expir expiration policies are the way you want them, um, but then to go in and take a look at your teams, go in the teams uh, admin center, uh, review, maybe go in the audit logs, make sure everything's getting cleaned up appropriately. Can I add here that I think this is one of the strong uh, uh, justifications for some of the third party tools that are out there that do a really good job at making sure orphaned objects, orphan sites, as you're going and moving and deleting and cleaning up, that you're not missing any of these pieces. So uh, again, there's a number, depending on your price point, there's all different tools that are out there, but I think this is a pretty uniform capability and value add for those tools. Let me let let me ask a question to this then. Is there and I don't know. I'm not a SharePoint person. Everybody knows what that. listens to this. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a SharePoint person. Um, He's a Yammer guy. Everybody, that's, no. that's his life. Lives for it. Be that ain't engaged. that ain't <laughs> happening. Um, anyways, um, so does SharePoint when you do this? If you were going to delete an object, uh, if something happened like that, does it have a recycle bin? Can you yes, bring that site absolutely. back? So you can you can bring back the site and everything that links to that site. I mean, is that all? But now here's the caveat. If it's a group site, right? That means uh, when you create a modern SharePoint site, it associates itself to an M365 group. And mm -hmm. now let's say you delete the M365 group. Um, essentially, the site will then be deleted. But if you restore then that site, which I'm not even sure if that's even possible, but let's just say we can, uh, there'd be no group associated to it. So therefore, as the retention or the expiration policy is trying to delete something, it can't delete something without having an M365 group object assigned to it. Okay, would that follow also with Teams? So because Teams, you create the SharePoint site, right? So if Correct. you got rid of the team, mm -hmm. You know, that site still is out there somewhere. It or should be cleaned up, right? Okay. It should be cleaned okay. up. Okay. It sometimes just, you know, when you think of an M365 group, it will, uh, wherever you're creating it from, by the way. So let's just pretend we're going to create it in Teams. So we're creating the group. We all think of it as creating a Microsoft team, but it is spinning up an Exchange share, uh, shared mailbox. It mm -hmm. is spinning up a SharePoint site. It's spinning up a plan or plan, depending on if you're using um, a, a, well, I think under the circumstances of a team, it's creating a plan for you. So it's creating all these services. Um, deleting them first over here um, shouldn't really affect the team itself. However, um, I think that's where some of these anomalies may happen. Yeah. If we have the expiration that's actually directed on the team, 
And then all the other things have obviously uh, a, um, a natural path, like we delete this service along with this service and then next this service. So all yeah. of that just needs to be really clean when it happens. And if there is some nuances, then of course, that's where you get uh, some of those orphan things. Yeah. Do you know, Michelle, if I was just thinking of, uh, you know, the the teamifying existing. So before moving over into Office 365, over to now, Microsoft 365, moving over, you had SharePoint sites that could later on be teamified. So had the other components. And so in that scenario, I, you know, just logically, I'm just thinking, well, you know, that could cause some other wrinkles so that if you then delete the team that you connected it to, that does that react any different? Should it clean up the same way with those sites, even though it existed before the team existed? Could that be I, another way? I believe when you teamify it, you're then adding the M365 group construct. Mm -hmm. However, it's always do your due diligence going back into the SharePoint permissions to see if an actual SharePoint permission model still exists. And when I say that, what I mean by that is your owners, your members and your viewers, those out of the box kind of classic SharePoint permissions that before you teamified it were created. Yeah, cool.